Given that M is 6143, prove by induction that M to the N is one fifth of 2N plus 4 times 7N, 7N minus 2N, 4 times 7N minus 4 times 2N, 4 times 2N plus 7N. Right, so we're going to prove, first of all, the same step as before with induction. So we'll prove true for n is equal to 1. So we'll take the left-hand side. m to the 1 would be 6143. And do the right-hand side and work out m to the 1 by replacing uh, n with 1 here, n with 1 here, the n with 1 here, and the n with 1 here. We're going to have the 1 fifth. We'll keep that outside. So we've got... 4 times 7 plus 2, which makes 30. 7 minus 2, which makes 5. 4 times 7, take away uh, 4 times 2, will give me 20. And then 4 times 2 plus 7 will give me uh, 15. Now we'll divide each of these by 5, and we'll end up with 6, 1, 4, 3, which is the matrix that we want. Therefore, it is true. The result is true for n is equal to 1. Right, now we will assume true for we will assume true for n is equal to k. So m to the k is one fifth, two to the k plus four times seven to k, seven k minus two k, four times seven k minus four times two k, four times two k plus seven k. And now we have to prove that it's true for n is equal to k plus 1. So basically what we want to get once we do this, because to get m is k plus 1, we need to do multiply m of the k, our assumption, times the matrix given in the question. And what we need to aim for is instead of having k here, the, all these ones in k, they all now to be, need to become k plus 1. Then we proved it's true. So writing out, so taking our, our assumption m to the k, which is this, and then multiplying by the original matrix. Now to multiply matrices, you do row times column, and that gives you the first element in the answer. Row times second column gives you the answer there. Row times this column gives you the answer down the bottom. Row times this one, it gives you the answer down the bottom. You need to be careful with this and don't keep the one fifth out at all stages. So we're going to do this times six so six times two k plus four times seven k so i've just put the six at the front and i've tried to put what i'm multiplying by through in green brackets plus four times seven k minus two and then one times two k plus four times seven to the k plus three times 7 to the k minus 2 to the k. And now we're going to do this times uh, this. So that will be 6 times four, 7 to the k minus 4 times 2 to the k. Plus 4 times 4 times 2 to the k times 7 to the k. So that one times that one. And then we're going to do this times this one. So it's going to be 1 times 4 times 7k minus 4 times 2 to the k plus 3 times 4 times 2 to the k plus 7 to k. I hope you can read that okay. Okay, you need to take a little bit of care of doing this very carefully, otherwise you, it, it won't come out right. Okay, so the next obvious thing to do is multiply this by 6. Keep the 1 fifth out. So this becomes 6 times 2 to the k, 6 times 4, which is 24 times 7 to the k plus 4 times 7 to the k minus 4 times 2 to the k. Here, this stays the same because we're just multiplying it by 1. And then we need to add to that 3 times 7 to the k minus 3 times 2 to the k. The same here, 6 times 4 gives me 24 times 7 to the k, minus 6 times minus 4 minus 24 times 2 to the k, plus 16 times 2 to the k times 4 times 7 to the k. This bit here will remain the same. And then this will multiply by 4. 3 times 4 is 12 times 2 to the k plus um, 3 times 7 to the k. 
Right, so collecting up all the uh, 2 to the k, so we've got uh, 6 and minus 4, which gives 4 times 2 to the k. And then we've got 24 plus 4, which gives 28 times 7 to the k. Here we're going to have uh, 7 times 7 to the k, uh, minus 2 times 2 to the k, 3 take away 1k. 3 take away 1. And down here we're going to have uh, 24, 28 times 7 to the k. And then here we're just going to have minus 8 times 2 to the k. Here we're going to have uh, 8 times 2 to the k. And then 7 times 7 to the k. So obviously a lot of care needs to be taken at each stage. Just going to write that line out again at the top here. So we've got m to the k plus 1 is equal to 1 uh, fifth of, of our last line. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to split the 4 up into 2 times 2 and times 2 to the k. The 28 I'm going to split up as 4 times 7 times 7 to the k. This I'm going to leave the same. Here at the 28 I'm going to split up as 4 times 7 times 7 to the k. Here I'm going to write this as minus 4 times 2 times 2 to the k. Here I'm going to write this as 4 times 2 times 2 to the k. And this one, I'm just going to leave it as the same. Right, when you do 2 times 2 to the k, that gives you 2 to the k plus 1. So we get 1 fifth of 2 times 2 to the k plus 1, plus 4 times, same here, 7 times uh, 7 to the k gives 7 to the k plus 1. This is just going to be 7 to the k plus 1. This is just going to be minus 2 to the 2k plus 1. Similar idea here, this is going to be 4 times 7 to the k plus 1 minus 4 times 2 to the k plus 1 and here we're going to get 4 times 2 to the k plus 1 plus 7 times k to the plus 1 which is what we actually wanted to show therefore we can say the result is true for n is equal to k plus 1 and therefore we write out the conclusion the result is true for n is equal to 1 and if it's true for n is equal to 1 true for n is equal to k, it's also equal true for n is equal to k plus 1. Therefore, the result is true for all n positive integers by the principle of mathematical induction. So what we're saying, if it's true for n is equal to 1, which we did show, then it's going to be true for the next one, which we did show, which would be 2, 3, and so on for all positive integers. Okay, this has been quite a long video, but I hope you've understood. So this has been a video about uh, proof by induction for matrices. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.